Emanuel is son of the devil spawn. He is an individual who would sell his mother to get a vote. He would strap his children to a front end of a, of a steam locomotive. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. We can and must turn this moment of challenge into one of opportunity. So what is the proposal? Spend more money, borrow more money, print more money. Why this sort of throwing money at the issue, bailing, bailing, bailing out? One, greatly expanded government spending for every conceivable means of getting rid of ever larger sums of American money as wastefully as possible. Congress. Now look, I know our economy's in trouble, but we don't need no stimulus full of damn pork. It's just like Washington. Start out getting stimulated, wind up getting porked. If we do not move swiftly to sign the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act into law, an economy that is already in crisis will be faced with catastrophe. He also said jobs would be created immediately, and they haven't. Only $26 billion, just over 3%, will be spent in this emergency, quick, get the money to the people, stimulus package this year. We're going to make the problems much worse. We're doing exactly what we did in the 1930s. We are determined to take a serious recession and turn it into a depression. With a plan of this scale comes enormous responsibility to get it right. And that's why I've asked Vice President Biden to lead a tough, unprecedented oversight effort. Because nobody messes with Joe. Now the White House plans to spend 18 million taxpayer dollars to redesign the website that tracks how many jobs have been, quote, saved or created by the stimulus. You know the website? You know, I'm embarrassed. You know the website number? I, uh, you know, I should have it in front of me, and I don't. The website was riddled with reports of jobs in places that didn't even exist. The White House's stimulus website claims that more than 640,000 jobs have already been saved or created. But the reports used to come up with that number are riddled with errors. In addition to the jobs in non-existent congressional districts, in real congressional districts, there are also problems, lots of them. There's no model uh, for estimating how many jobs could have been saved or created. More shoes in Campbellsville, Kentucky claims nine jobs were created from a single $890 grant for nine pairs of work boots for the Army Corps of Engineers. Head Start of Augusta, Georgia claimed 317 jobs with a $790,000 grant, but it was really just a one-time pay raise to its 317 employees. The Recovery Act is in fact working. Well, now look at this mess here. This ain't going to create no damn jobs. Look. $400 million to Al Dam Gold. $30,000 of stimulus money will be spent to tear down the remains of trees that burned in a fire. We'll spend more than $3 million for improvements to a state-run liquor warehouse, including adding skylights and warm beer. The $1.9 million in the omnibus spending bill for Connecticut's Pleasure Beach Water Taxi. It's a water taxi to nowhere since Pleasure Beach has exactly zero residents and has been abandoned since 19. 1996, 400,000 stimulus dollars to close a secondary road that leads into the park, but apparently the same state park received $7 million in early 2007, in part to close that very same road. $50 million for art. I know there are some in this chamber and watching at home who are skeptical of whether this plan will work. $475,000 will be spent on beaver management and control. 10 foot wide, one mile long concrete walking trail that will connect the Wilderness Park Trail and the Bob White Trail. So let's see, a half a million for a shortcut? Is getting 1.3 million in stimulus dollars to stabilize a bridge that the town is planning to tear down anyway. Now, uh, what do you see? It's 200 million for contraception programs. Yeah. Stimulus check sent to a woman who has been dead for 40 years. When was the last time that we saw a bill of this magnitude move out with no earmarks in? Not one. The airport is about to get more than $2 million in stimulus funds to spruce up the terminal building. There are only two commercial flights a day, like this one here at the Greenbrier Airport, and on average, each of those planes only has about three to nine passengers. And on this flight, the airport workers load a single piece of luggage. 
Federal investigators reportedly have received more than 730 allegations of waste and fraud in Stimulus Act funding so far. Yes, there's crony capitalism. One little company gets the attention of powerful people. This is the story of Republic Windows and serious material. Might government handouts and a cozy relationship between this company and the administration have something to do with their success? Economic stimulus! Ta-da! If nothing is done, the unemployment rate could reach double digits. The president said that unemployment would not exceed 8%. Now we have unemployment nearly 10%. Unemployment hovering around 10. The real unemployment number is probably closer to between 15 and 20%. People don't think you or a lot of other folks in Washington get it. Harry, we had to try to walk and chew gum at the same time. Federal investigators reportedly have received more than 730 allegations of waste and fraud in Stimulus Act funding so far. Guess who got $9,000 of funding this year? We have to help bring this government down. We have to help destroy this system. The way change is going to happen in this country is through the destruction of what we call the United States of America. What it reflects is, though, the reality. It reflects the reality that Washington right now is broken. How can we possibly let the government get away with calling this a stimulus package? 27% of Americans think Mr. Obama's policies have made economic conditions worse, while just 24% say they've made them better. 45% see no effect. We asked him if Americans really got their bang from the buck from the stimulus. Absolutely, but I don't think they realize it. Uh, the job-creating portions are really loaded at the second half. Another $110 billion, or 13%, will be spent sometime next year, which means that by the time President Obama's term is halfway through, coincidentally enough, also, oh my gosh, about the time we have the midterm elections. Most of the so-called jobs that have been saved or created are government jobs, even though the president promised that 90% of these jobs uh, would be private sector jobs. The Recovery Act was designed to make sure that Local school districts didn't lay off teachers and firefighters and, and, and police officers. That if we don't move quickly, that the economy is going to keep on getting worse. This plan will save or create over three million jobs. Almost all of them in the private sector. We'll have another two or three or four million jobs lost this year. And these steps have saved or created about two million jobs so far. But more than 7 million have been lost. It's created more than uh, uh, or saved more than 2 million jobs. Saved or created uh, a million and a half jobs. The Recovery Act has created or saved between 500,000 and 750,000 jobs. The Recovery Act saved thousands and thousands of jobs. You know, if I could create one job in the private sector by helping to grow a business, that would be one more than Congress has created in the last six months. You know, if I could create one job in the private sector by helping to grow a business, that would be one more than Congress has created in the last six months. Because Washington's a place where, where tax dollars are often treated like monopoly money. Today is a big day in America o only. 36,000 people lost their jobs today, which is really good. It's done its job. It's done its job. This package isn't meant to stimulate the economy. It is meant to reshape it. Six, greatly increased socialistic controls over every operation of our economy and every activity of our daily lives. California and Texas and New York and we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan and then we're going to Washington DC to take back the White House yeah!